Hey, it's Squidly. One thing that I've discovered is that everyone in the backpacking community is unfaithful and it's time to talk about it. In backpacking, there are two sides. There's ultralight and there's luxury items. And the problem is one of them is the spouse and the other one is the side hustle. And the truth is, no one is loyal to either one of them. So let's take a minute and let's pick apart these broken relationships. So if you're ultralight, you know how it is. You've been loyal to ultralight for a long time and you're always working to get a new piece of gear to shave off an extra gram or half an ounce or something. And the next thing you know, you're carrying a fanny pack. And what are you going to do with that fanny pack? You're going to fill it up. And pretty soon, you're not loyal to being ultralight anymore. You're starting to bring extra stuff. And then a fellow backpacking friend introduces you to the pee bottle. So now you don't have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee. You can do that from the comfort of your own tarp that you're sleeping under because you don't have a tent. And then before you know it, you're bringing a whole chair. And so you've completely abandoned the ultralight and now you're bringing a bunch of luxury items. You disloyal piece of <laughs> So you ultralighters, I know how you are. You talk a big game about being ultralight, but deep down you know you're bringing stuff you don't need. And just like I showed you, it starts out with a gateway drug and next thing you know, you're hooked and you can't stop. And you've completely abandoned being ultra light in favor of all these fancy new pieces of gear that you know you don't need, but it makes life so much more comfortable. Oh, but you luxury item carriers, don't worry. I'm not gonna let you off the hook either. You unashamedly carry luxury items and there's nothing wrong with that. You've been loyal to that for years but you're getting a little bit older and the knees hurt a little bit more and your feet hurt a little bit more and you're not in the shape that you used to be in and you can't do the miles that you want to do because you're not physically able to do it. And so what did you do? You start trimming the fat. That's right. I just called your backpacking spouse the fat and you start trimming these pieces of gear off your pack, even though you've been loyal to them for years, and what are they doing now? They just sit in the closet and watch you get ready to leave and go off with your side hustle. What did they do to you? Nothing, they made your life more comfortable in camp. That's what they did, but you start to abandon them because you want to be more comfortable on trail now. And so you start to find ways to justify not carrying the fanny pack. It's okay. I'll just stop and take gear out of my backpack as I need it. Lunch, your headlamp, all the things that would be in here, but you're not going to carry it now so you can be a little more comfortable on trail and not carry quite as much weight. And you tell yourself, I'm going to do more miles. I'm going to spend more time on trail. I'm not going to need that chair in camp. And then next thing you know, you're having to get up in the middle of the night, leave your tent, and go pee out in the woods. And all for what? Because these luxury items betrayed you? No, they didn't betray you. You're betraying them. Now, if you're listening to this and you're feeling the tiniest bit of shame, that's good. You should feel ashamed because you are abandoning that style that you've been loyal to for all these years. And the worst part of this is, it's not like you're skipping around on the other side of town, on the other side of the tracks, away from the one that you've been loyal to, and now with that side hustle. It's not even like you're hiding it. They know each other. I don't think they like each other, but they know each other. And they're probably comparing notes on you. So the next time you're packing for a backpacking trip, you just remember that you can't be loyal to both. To really enjoy luxury items is to bring all the luxury items. 
and to be loyal to ultralight is to not bring any luxury items and they're all luxury items. Okay, it looks like our time's up. This counseling session is over. Don't forget to pay on the way out.